or the Beatles? Well, somebody's <laughs> given us an idea and he's working on the script. And if the script's nice, then we may do it. One question we like in Holly, we'd like to know how you compare movie working to, say, the concert tour or recording sessions. Yeah. Mono work and stuff like that. Well, we don't compare it much, you know. Uh, would you rather play the Hollywood Bowl again than Dodger Stadium? We don't really mind. So one of your countrymen was here yesterday or the day before, before he returned to England, or on his arrival in England. He said he thought uh, American women were out of style for not wearing mini skirts, and that they're, because they didn't wear mini skirts, their legs were ugly. Uh, I'd like to ask you what you think about American women's legs. Well, if they He's don't wear mini London. skirts, how does he know their legs are ugly? You know, on My your uh, album cover that was banned, I mean, whose idea was it? And yeah, what, the photographers that took it. And what was it supposed I mean, was there any meaning behind it? Though. This religious issue is answered once and for all. Would I you clarify so. and repeat uh, the answer that you gave you in Chicago? I can't again. repeat it again because I don't know what I said, you know. Well, would you clarify the you remarks read, that were attributed you know, to you? You tell me what you think I meant, and I'll tell you whether I agree or... Well, concerning the remark that you made, comparing the relative popularity of the Beatles with Jesus Christ and that yeah. the Beatles were more popular. This created quite a controversy and a furor in this country, <coughs> as you are obviously aware. Do you know that, John? You created a Now, uh, would you uh, clarify the remark? Well, I've clarified it about 800 times, you know. I could have said TV or something else, you know, and that's as clear as it can be. I just use Beatles because I know about them a bit more than TV. I could have said any number of things. Wouldn't have got as much publicity, though. <laughs> my, my, question, my question is directed at all of you. Do you think this, uh, this controversy has hurt your careers or has helped you professionally? Obviously, you're quite aware of it. It hasn't helped or hindered it, I don't think. I think most sensible people took it for what it was. And it was only the um, bigots that took it up and thought it was, you know, on their side, they thought, ha-ha, here's something to get them for. But when they read it, uh, they saw that, you know, there was nothing wrong with it, really. It's just that they thought that by us saying, uh, by John saying that we were more popular than Jesus, they thought, ah, you know, he's bound to be arrogant. And... Did you see the fellow on telly last night? He said it. I'd like to direct this question to Messrs. Lennon and... Uh... McCartney, in uh, a recent article, Time Magazine put down pop music, and they referred to uh, Day Tripper as being about a prostitute, oh, yeah. and Norwegian Wood about as being about a lesbian. Oh, yeah. Now, I just wanted to know what what your intent was when you wrote it, and what sh what your feeling is about the Time Magazine criticism of the music that is being written today. We well, were just trying to write songs about prostitutes and lesbians. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Fred Paul from KASK. First of all, I'd like to say hi to you all again. It's really good to see hi. you. And so, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Go on, Fred. I'd like go to on, ask Fred. a question that you've never been asked before. Oh, no. oh. What are you going to do when the bubble oh, bursts? Yes. <laughs> oh, so, go for it. You know, that's no a personal thing. in joke. He used to ask it at every press conference we went to, to keep the party going. <laughs> Outside in Hollywood tonight, you had to arrive in an armored truck, and the truck was swarmed by adoring fans. What is the situation wherever you go? Do you ever have a uh, an opportunity to walk out in the street without being recognized, or can you walk into a, a theater to see a movie by yourself? Or if you go and the lights are down, you can go in. We can do that in England. It's easier in England than it is here, and it's mainly because we know England better. No, It'd also be easier to do it if we were on tour, you know. Because we're on tour, people know where we are, that's why we have a crowd. <laughs> oh, is that my house? Yes, I wear that. Paul, many of the top artists and musicians in the pop field today have said that the Beatles have been a major influence in their music. Are there any other artists who have a, an important influence on you, the music you create? Oh, yes, nearly everyone, you know. we. We pinch as much from other people as they pinch from us, you know. 
Uh, may I ask about the song, uh, Eleanor Rigby? What was the motivation or inspiration for that? Two queers. <laughs> John, um, did you ever... <laughs> Two barrel boys. Oh, this is getting disgusting. This bit. What? John, did you ever meet Cass of the Mamas and Papas? Yes, and she's great, and I'm seeing her some night. <laughs> good. Yes, yeah, she's good. Uh, have you ever trained or used Beetle Double as decoys? No, uh, no. No, no. We tried to get Brian Epstein to do it. He wouldn't do it. <laughs> uh, Ringo, uh, one question. Uh, how much did you contribute to What Goes On? And are you contributing to any other Lennon-McCartney compositions? I, um, well, five words to What Goes On. and no, I've done a thing since. <laughs> <laughs> like the dresses to John and Paul, uh, you write a lot of stuff that other people steal from you and also purchase from you. In different arrangements, uh, Ella Fitzgerald and the a lot of these Boston Pops and stuff like that. When you listen to this on the radio or records and stuff, how do you feel about them using your pieces and changing them around to suit their styles? Depends how they do it, you know. The thing is, they don't steal it. No, I know that. Well, you just said they did. Well, some... <laughs> okay. no, they, I mean, you know, it's, once we've done a song and it's published, anyone can do it. So, you know, the, uh, whether we like it or not depends on whether they've done it to our taste. You know, well, then let's we'll ask it this way. Who do you think does it the best, the Beatles songs? Us. <laughs> Who? Us. Um, oh. <laughs> I'd like to direct this question to George Harrison, if I may. Mm. What's uh, your address? <laughs> <laughs> uh, George, uh, before you left England, you made a statement that... Um, uh, you were going now to America to be beaten up by Americans. Uh, do, you, do you mean to say in so many words that you feel that the American fan is more a hostile fan? No, not Britain, at all. Or a more enthusiastic Actually, I, did, I said that when we arrived back from Manila. They said, what are you going to do next? And I said, we're going to rest up before we go and get beaten up over there. Merely beaten up is just... So really, we just got sort of shoved around a bit. Oh, well jostled around in cars and joke, planes, really? so, you know, that's all it is. Well, do you think that's more an enthusiastic fan than a hostile fan, would you say? I think uh, there's definitely more enthusiastic fans. I but if anyone we have, beat think, us up, it's not the fans, is it? Yeah, the fan thing, I think, they proved it themselves, you know, after this. We found out that there are a lot of fans who are great, mm -hmm. and all the ones we lost, I think, we don't really mind anyway, because if they can't make up their minds, who needs them? Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to ask about the, uh, your image, the image scrimmage, and I'll direct this to anybody. Uh, how has your image changed since 63? Uh, is it uh, a little more, uh, is it the same? An image is how you see us, so, you know, you can only answer that. You're the only one that knows. Who's that? Oh, it's you. oh it's you. well. No, I want to get your opinion. Is it a little tarnished now? Is it more realistic, or what would you say it is? Oh. I know I have my opinion. We haven't got any time for our opinion. We can't tell you our image, you know. We can only our, our image is what we read in the newspapers, and that's the same as you read, you know. But, I mean, we know our real image, which is nothing like our image. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, what I meant to say was, uh, I like take two bricks. <laughs> Who is the young man with the lengthy haircut to your right rear? Right rear. Uh, it's good old Dave, isn't it? What is he? Who is Dave it? Dave from the uh, Burn, a mate of ours. Your holy matey. Shy, shy. Do you ever plan to record in the United States, and why haven't you yet? We tried, uh, actually, but it was a financial matter. Mm. Mm. Bit of trouble over that one. No, we tried, but uh, it didn't come politics. Up. Hush, hush. Dice. No comment. Mr. Lennon, is it true you're planning to give up music for a career in the field of comparative religion? No. <laughs> is that another of the jokes going on? I'm sure you've all heard of the many beetle burnings and beetle bonfires. And I was wondering, do you think American girls are fickle? All girls are fickle. Well, the photos we saw of them were a sort of middle-aged DJs and 12-year-olds burning a pile of LP covers. Uh, this question is directed to Paul and John. 
You have written uh, quite a few numbers for Peter and Gordon, and I understand they don't like it because they think that it's you writing the song that makes it popular. Do you plan to write any more songs for them? Uh, they, you know, if we write songs for they ask us to write songs for them if we, we do it. I mean, they don't mind it. They like it, but it's... People come up and say, ah, we see you just getting in on the Lennon McCartney bandwagon. That's that's why um, they did that one with, with with our names not on it, woman. Because everyone sort of thinks that's the reason they get hits. It's not true, really. Uh, gentlemen, uh, what do you think would happen to uh, you four if uh, you came to an appearance without the armored truck and without police? We'd get in a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't make it. <clears throat> We couldn't do it. It depends, you know. Sometimes we could have easily made it much better without the armor truck. But today, probably we wouldn't. You think you'd be physically harmed? Oh, yeah, probably. What do you think? Mm. Yes, I think so. Uh, could be. I want to make these the last three questions. Ah, uh, John. I was wondering, under what condition did you write in his own right? That sort of wild, uh, <laughs> those kicky words. I mean, how did you, uh, you know, put the piece them together. Oh, I don't know. And do you have any more books coming? Oh, uh, well, um, yes, and I can't answer that. You know, it's just the way it happens. Any more books coming? I didn't think that. Uh, how can I do this? Just like an author. <laughs> John. I hope so, you know. If, is this the last question? Is this? Are all of your news conferences like this? No. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not the last I'm question. talking about all of the uh, all of the reporters uh, or would be reporters or semi reporters that show up. Are you besieged by these kind of people throughout the tours that you travel here in the United States? You can't always tell the would be from the real thing. So we is it know. this way when you travel in Europe? Yes. But what's wrong with it? What's wrong with the crowd? Nothing. I'm just wondering if you have this many reporters everywhere you go. Oh. It's not always. But it's it's some of them are just onlookers. Oh, no, on tomorrow. This is the last question. Thank you. Right, tomorrow never comes is the last cut on the second side, right? Tomorrow never knows. Tomorrow never knows. Thank That's you. Right. Uh, could you give me a vague idea of some of the tape manipula manipulation you use when your voice drops into the track, John? Wait, wait, is that wait. sung backwards by any chance and then recorded forward? No, it's not sung backwards. It's just... It's just... Uh, Recorded pretty straight, you know, there's nothing really, uh, there's tape loops on it, which are a bit different, and, uh, the words are from the Tibetan Book of the Dead, oh. so there, fairly, nearly. Oh, well. Right, uh, now can we do the presentation that we were going to do slightly earlier from the three president oh. stake branding irons, which were made specially for each of the Beatles. presentation by Capitol Records is, as I said earlier, the effective finale for the press conference so far as everyone except the television crews are concerned. May I ask for your cooperation now in clearing the room of everyone except... The interview, yeah. George, this is for Where the Action is, the Dick Clark program. Where the Action is. Dick oh, Clark yeah. was going to be here in person today, but unfortunately he wasn't able to attend. Oh. So we'll just get a few questions and later dub my voice Which, out. Where's your, where's Our, right, right over here, here to the left. left. Yeah, okay. Right. First of all, could you give us some ideas what you like to do in the spare time? When you get any time, what, what do you like to do? Uh, just relax. Nothing more. Play music and relax and eat. What, what type of music do you prefer? Um, sort of honky-tonk and uh, country and western and uh, Congo rhythms. 
Out of all the country and Western American stars, uh, do you have a favorite? Uh, yeah, Buddy Holly. He is pretty good. What do you think of the number one country and Western singer in this country, Buck Owens? Oh, yeah, Ringo likes him a lot, yeah. Dick Clark. Out of all the sections of the country you've been in, uh, do you have a favorite? Yeah, I like uh, California, naturally, because it's nice and sunny, sunny and hot, and swimming pool. Very nice. What about the girls here in Los Angeles? Do you think that they're a little bit different, or possibly uh, from other sections of the country? I haven't seen any girls in Los Angeles, only at a distance. If you had a night off tonight and had an opportunity to go anywhere you would like to go here in Los Angeles, where do you think you would attend? Um, I don't know. I think I'd go to Hollywood Bowl. Out of all the American entertainers, if uh, you had a favorite, who would you like to see tonight, if it were possible, at the Hollywood Bowl? Glenn Barry. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's fine. Is that the name of a group? The Worthy no, 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 Actioners? No, no, no. Worthy Action is oh, ABC. Like worthy, worthy, like worthy of something. The, no, no, no. the Worthy no, no. Actioners. Can I get just a few questions? Yes, certainly. What time of day do you prefer to write your tunes? Da what time of day? Yes. It's certainly daytime, anyway. Or nighttime. It's certainly something like that. Just any I'm time, sorry. really. Any right. time.